It has been a tough week for Tennessee. Days after tornadoes devastated the state, the governor has announced the first case of the coronavirus. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rose. State leaders say the coronavirus patient is a man in Williamson County. That's in the suburban Nashville area. They say the patient is a man who returned to the state from Boston a few days ago. He has mild symptoms and is being quarantined in his home. And today, Governor Bill Lee had this message for Tennesseans. Well, this is a serious situation. I urge Tennesseans to keep this illness in perspective as the vast majority of cases are mild and manageable. We have team coverage for you tonight on Hamilton County's response to the coronavirus. Kylie Thomas will show us what schools plan to do to keep you safe. We begin tonight with Isaiah Kim Martinez, who learned Hamilton County leaders are already monitoring the virus. He shows us what that means tonight. Isaiah. Yeah, Josh Kim, no cases of coronavirus in Hamilton County yet, but health officials say they're already monitoring around four people in the county, those who have return, returned from infected areas. The coronavirus has officially landed in Tennessee. For now, the only reported case is still hours away from Chattanooga. To date, uh, we have no cases in Hamilton County. But Jim Coppinger and other county leaders and health officials say it's only a matter of time until we see it right in our community. But is that safe to say at this point is what we're looking at? Not so much like let's make sure it stays away like it's coming. It's just a matter of being ready for it. I, I think we have to prepare for that eventuality. On Thursday, County Health Officer Paul Hendricks and others activated a new information hotline and resource team for anybody with questions or concerns about COVID-19. Because this is a, an extremely serious situation. County leaders say they haven't tested anyone yet. In fact, the state health department says they only have 85 tests available. But the county has monitored the health of around four people who have traveled recently to an infected area. They're required to be quarantined. Um, we'll check in with them daily or sometimes every other day. So far, officials say they're healthy, but these people are required to notify the health department if they see any symptoms. People are voluntary, voluntarily isolating themselves, staying at home, doing the right thing. But what about the people wanting more than just the same instructions to wash your hands and avoid contact with sick people? Individually, those are the important things to do, and it's staying, staying informed. Hendricks says with respiratory illnesses, it's often the simple things that work. And Hamilton County leaders say that the new resource team and hotline are for everyone. Symptoms or no symptoms, all part of the county's plan to prepare and react. For the contact information, you can visit our website at newschannel9.com.